As gold price has increased by around $200 since early November, it's uh, probably uh, time to have a look at some more miners. And today we're going to have a look at Agnico Eagle AEM and Alamos Gold AGI. Welcome to MyFinanceTeacher.org. By the way, if you uh, hit the like button on this video, tomorrow I'll come out with a new one on my outlook for the gold price, both for the short term as well as intermediate term. Let's get back to the valuations. And usually for uh, larger valuations, after Newmont and Barrick, I look at Agnico Eagle and Angular Gold Ashanti. But at the time of making these slides, Angular Gold Ashanti hadn't published their Q3 reports yet. So instead, we're looking at Agnico Eagle and Alamos Gold. Both are relatively large companies behind Newmont and Barrick, with Agnico Eagle at uh, nearly $24 billion in market cap. And Alamos Gold significantly smaller, but still at nearly $4 billion in market cap. As usual, for our valuation, we look at the longer-term fundamental factors, while day-to-day -day and week-to-week -week fluctuations might actually move the prices away from this uh, fundamental valuation. And more specifically, at what our valuation model looks at is a discounted per share value after all-in sustaining costs, after long-term debts and taxes. And for that, we look at gold price, the reserves and resources in the ground, debts, taxes, number of shares outstanding, discounting, and insider shares. As this percentage, the percentage of shares in the insider hands, is important to align the incentives of the managers with the shareholders. As usual, we're going to have a look at three scenarios for gold price with conservative price around $1,600, $1,600, balanced price at about $1,900, and optimistic price at about $2,200. Again, we're looking at longer term fundamental valuations. So, so these price scenarios are generally where the price might fluctuate around with, again, day-to-day -day and week-to-week -week discrepancies uh, moving in either direction a little bit. Looking at the reserves and resources of gold, silver, and copper in the ground, Agnico Eagle has over 42 million ounces of proven and probable reserves of gold and almost 40 million ounces of additional, that's exclusive, measured and indicated resources of gold. Beyond that, they have inferred resources, but we don't include these into the valuation, making the valuations uh, that much uh, more conservative leaning. AEM also has over 26 million ounces of silver reserves and over 44 million ounces of silver resources. That's measured in indicated resources without the inferred resources. And Agnico Eagle also has nearly 183 million pounds of proven and probable reserves of copper and nearly 120 million pounds of MI resources of copper. Alamos Gold has nearly 10 million ounces of proven and probable reserves of gold and an additional nearly 3.5 million ounces of measured and indicated resources of gold. Alamos Gold also has nearly 35 million ounces, this should be ounces of proven and probable reserves of silver and nearly 7.5 million ounces, again, these should be ounces, of measured and indicated resources of silver. Very interesting picture here with no long-term debts for Alamos Gold. That's uh, very attractive. But on the other hand, all-in sustaining costs are slightly higher at $1,215. That's from the updated guidelines for this year. That's somewhat higher than the all-in sustaining costs for Agnico Eagle at $1,040. Again, that's from the guidance for this year. But Agnico Eagle has a long-term debt of over $1.3 billion. For taxes, for simplicity, I just assume a 20% tax on all the miners I look at in this valuation model. Looking at shares and discounting, Agnico Eagle has nearly 456 million shares outstanding out of which 0.1% is in insider hands. And this number is a little bit better for Agnico Eagle at 0.3% in insider hands out of nearly 393 million shares outstanding. Looking at time value of money, I use a discount rate of 5%. Let me know down in the comments below if it's adequate or if you would uh, use a significantly higher discount rate. And at current annual production, the reserves would last for 13 years for Agnico Eagle and for over 22 years for Alamos Gold. If you add half of measured and indicated resources, that extends the mine life to 19 years for Agnico Eagle and to over 26 years for Alamos Gold. So that's fundamentally what's in the ground and the costs of extracting all of that. And looking at the values per share, starting with a conservative valuation, 
where we plug in the gold price of only $1,600 and we only plug in the proven and probable reserves in the ground into our valuation without accounting for MNI resources, never mind inferred resources. That gives us a conservative valuation of around $29 for AEM and about $4.8 for AGI. That is uh, quite a bit lower where the share prices are right now, but that shows you the level of risk that's present if gold price just drops out of bed and uh, stays somewhere around $1,600 over the next couple of years. But I don't think it's likely though. Let me know down in the comments if you agree or if you expect gold price to actually drop that much. Moving on to the balanced valuation where we plug in the gold price of $1,900. That's not very far from where the gold price is right now. But even in the balanced valuation, we only look at the proven and probable reserves without plugging in any of the MNI and never mind inferred resources. That gives us a valuation of $40 for AEM and about $7.3 for AGI. And most excitingly, let's have a look at the optimistic valuation, which isn't actually extremely optimistic at all. We plug in the gold price of only $2,200, and we look at the value of proven and probable reserves, as well as only half of measured and indicated resources, never mind any of the inferred resources or any of the potential exploration upside. All of this gives us a value of over $66.20 for Agnico Eagle and just under $10.70 for LMS Gold. That's actually only about 30-ish percent or so above the current prices. But again, as I've mentioned a couple of times already, even our optimistic scenario is leaning a little towards being uh, that much conservative. After all, this number $2,200 per ounce of gold can, for example, be um, easily broken over the next uh, two to three years. And despite ongoing depletion, despite ongoing production, both AEM and AGI might actually find some more deposits through their exploration. For more details on a range of assets where I post quite regularly, including some insights on uh, hidden gems, which have already increased by over 25%, if I'm not mistaken, join us at myfinanceteacher.org. And from the beginning of January, I'm going to remove this uh, half-price introductory offer for the first month. And even this 10 bucks per month is basically nothing in the ongoing inflationary environment. That's a bit like sharing a couple of beers with me. Talking about beers, have a productive day and an enjoyable evening. Bye-bye.